am so excited to be here with you today and receive this academic award. Thank you so much, George Mason. Thank you to the Board of Directors, to the Arison Professor of Doing Good Values, Dr. Greg Unruh. Thank you to my team, the Arison Group team, and a special thanks to President Dr. Angel Cabrera. Looking at this amazing crowd, I feel that a bird's eye view is necessary. From above, it's amazing to see the connectivity, one humanity, seeking a future, playing the game of life. But have you asked yourself what kind of future you want as an individual, as a collective? All of you graduates here today have worked very hard to set the foundations of your future. But is it enough to be successful? And is it enough to yield only financial results? I think not. How we get there is just as important, if not even more. I find that the responsibility one takes for their actions impacts, and the impacts that we have on others is what makes each of us the kind of people that we are. Traveling through life, I've always searched for new opportunities to do my part in making a positive impact. And I have an overall vision, the vision of doing good. We all share a common stake in our collective future, and each and every one of us can take active part in making a difference. A social consciousness is developing where people realize it is important to look at the long-term effects of our actions. The world is now seeking sustainable solutions and finding that business is a powerful platform for positive action impacting people, society, and the planet. In order to create a beneficial effect in all levels, the Arison Group worldwide places values at the core of each of our business entities and philanthropic endeavors. How do we do this? Let me first share with you a short story from my early years. Shifting from tourism to finance, I remember myself sitting in a huge boardroom among other directors. I was surrounded by people that love the numbers, facts, methods, people who are crucial for a successful business, and yet I felt very out of place. For me, it was about vision, about making a difference in the world, and being creative and understanding that business is part of our community. As I see it, everyone has an important part of a greater picture. So I stopped comparing myself, understanding that each individual has their own unique part to play. And I connected to my own individual uniqueness with passion and intuition. Today, I am very clear with my vision, knowing that business and philanthropy are platforms for creating positive change in the world. But how do we bring about positive change? How do we go about realizing positive leadership? First of all, may I suggest to look deep inside yourselves and see what you're most passionate about. If you look towards the future, imagine how you want this future to be. How do you want it to look like? Can you envision it? If you can see what it looks like, what steps do you need to make it happen? From this perspective, it is not only possible to bring about change, but real transformation. In my journey over the last two decades, I've been creating vision after vision for each of my business companies and philanthropic organizations at the Arison Group. But as important as it is to have vision, that isn't enough. You have to have the right people, to create the right teams, outlining long-term strategies, and finding practical ways to implement values and goals that are way ahead of their time. Now I stand here, honored by this acknowledgement for a joint vision, a mutual partnership put to work here at George Mason University. Based on our shared values, we established a professorship that promotes the doing good values model. At the core of this model stands the vision of doing good, and it deals with how we think, how we speak, 
and how we act. The 13 values at the heart of this model can be beneficial for individuals in all circles of life. The doing good model is a compass that gives practical tools for implementation, understanding that each individual has the moral responsibility to do their part for our collective future, whether that collective is a business, an organization, a country, or the planet. Our co collaboration with George Mason University takes the Arison Group's vision of doing good a step further. Through active engagement in values, research, curriculum, innovating teaching practices, and focusing on worldwide case studies of value-based businesses and organizations, we are expanding the circles of positive impact. Researching and implementing values such as financial freedom, sustainability, abundance, and purity gives students, employees, individuals, and organizations the opportunity for thinking, discussing, and finding ways to implement high elated values in our everyday life as an individual and as a collective, whether it is in business or any other field one chooses to be in. When all of you here go out into the world, you might ask yourself, how can I implement values? I'm happy to share with you some of our examples. In our bank, Bank of Paulim, financial freedom is in in implemented effectively in real life situations by providing our employees and customers the knowledge and tools to make educated choices regarding their finances helps them prosper and grow. At a volunteering conference that I spoke at recently, a social worker came up to me and said, wow, what you just talked about really works. A friend of mine was just at, a, at the bank with her husband, and her husband had to go out for a phone call, and the teller was asking her some questions about her account, which she knew nothing about. And the teller said, it's just as important for you to understand your finances as it is for your husband. Let me teach you. Another value is sustainability. Shikun and Binui, our global infrastructure and real estate company, builds its projects 100% sustainable. And they teach their employees worldwide about sustainability. How do we ab apply abundance? Our water efficiency company brings millions of people water that didn't have fresh water before. Imagine people from all backgrounds, ages, and cultures uniting together around doing good. This is the one of the ways that we implement the value of volunteering on Good Deeds Day. Every year in March, globally, hundreds of thousands of people in 50 countries go out and do a good deed for the benefit of others. I always say that even a smile that brightens someone else's day is a good deed, because that's the energy that we spread. Good Deeds Day shows that given the opportunity, people want to do good. And it's always amazing to see the outpour of goodwill on Good Deeds Day. Just last year, nearby in this area, thousands of people went out on Good Deeds Day. And I was recently at a dinner party in Israel with some people from the US when a man that I was talking to said to me, I just saw thousands of people with these t-shirts that said doing good, and they were out doing good deeds. I didn't know you initiated it. And my response was, isn't that amazing? That's great. It's gone way beyond me, and that's what change is all about. 2014, March 9th, is International Good Deeds Day. I invite all of you to be part of our global family, doing a good deed in any way your heart desires. Spread the word, tell your fellow students in all campuses around the country, and amplify the goodness. I also invite you to our digital platform, GoodNet, goodnet.org, sharing ideas, receiving inspiration, and connecting people worldwide to doing good. While talking, contemplating, and finding ways to do good, I believe we can elevate ourselves and our communities to the understanding that we, all of us, are all one. If we want to see a future that is pure, honest, 
peaceful, with growth and prosperity, we each need to take personal responsibility for our collective future. Value-based leadership is beyond business. It is based on being mindful to our own values that are at the heart of our own vision and actions. Your values make you the type of person that you are, the type of leader you want to be. And everyone can be a leader, each one in their own unique way. Leaders inspire with their vision. They bring elevated ideas and transform them into reality. We all want the same things. We all want to grow and be fulfilled, live our dreams and passions, and at the same time, be happy, healthy, and at peace. So I challenge you to think not only of your future success, but to think of succeeding with a moral compass in your heart and a state of mind of win-win where everyone becomes winners. Some might say this is not possible, but I am here to tell you that anything is possible when you put your mind and your heart into it and do it in a positive way. Thank you.